<laughs> it is Mr. Ed, and today it is a bit chilly. It's probably, I, I'm saying it's it's around 52, 53 degrees. And Charlie, well, come on, Charlie, come here, Charlie, because they're not going to bleed if you're not here. Charlie, look, there he is. Charlie has got us out in the woods today. We, we're, we're only about 40 miles from the Abbey. I think it's more like a cow pasture, really. <laughs> but it, it is in the country, as you saw by the ride up here. It, beautiful ride up here, and there's a lot of cattle up here. Um, but surprisingly enough, besides being cattle, and, do and barking dogs. And barking dogs. We got a special surprise for you today. Oh, so Charlie's going to get on the camera and he is going to show you. And it's not Wreck It Ralph, but it is something awesome. Check this out. Can you believe that? That is one massive external hive. Massive. There it is. That is one beautiful hive. Now, from what I've been told, this hive has been here no more than a year, and I believe it, looking at, at that comb, the condition of it. And here we are, right at the end of March, and judging from what's going on in our beehives as far as uh, swarming, the swarm season is on, I'm really, really curious to see how this hive, which is an external hive, how it is progressing, whether it's getting ready to swarm, and judging by those numbers on that, that, that hive, I mean, that hive, it's got to be soon that it's going to swarm. And if you notice, the bees are all clustered down at the very bottom of that hive. So my, my guess is that our brood is going to be at, at that area of the hive because we had so much exposed comb above it. So we got a special lift today that's coming right now. <laughs> Look at this. And we're going to get in that thing? <laughs> hey, <y 'all> <laughs> <laughs> so as the lift is setting up, Charlie is getting ready too. So am I. We're going to wrangle these bees. And by the grace of God, they're going to come back up to the Abbey. And these girls are going to go into the lay inside. Charlie, you ready to get in that cage and get up? Not really. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> I think we're still can muster. Let's go wrangle some bees up here. forward. Don't hit it. Are you ready for this? Thumbs up, baby. Thumbs Let's go. up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got that right, Dad. <laughs> oh, boy. Tilt, tilt the basket, John. There you go. Can you believe this? face to face with these bees and it's chilly so I'm gonna put my bee suit on all the way and fire up that vacuum cleaner I mean this is an incredible incredible beehive wait you're getting ready to put one in there with you thank you Charlie I told you
Yeah, I got it right there. I'm gonna look for my queen. Let me see. Here's another one right here. Five. Bunch of swarm cells on here for sure. Yep.
The cone is so big, I'm afraid I'm going to crush it, you know, break it. But it doesn't fall. I, I, I'm, I'm not cutting through yet. I'm just going to get my line. Out. I said branch behind you. I just want to look for the queen.
John is not manning his post. He's out there watching. <laughs> I'm glad I got my coat on underneath this suit. I'll tell you what, it's cooler than I thought. I'm well, I've got all the comb taken off except for some of the stuff that was right around the trunk of the limb. And I'm just guessing that, that my queen, because I really wasn't looking for her, I figured that we had all those swarm cells on there. If we don't get her, we got a swarm cell that will get a new queen. So regardless, we're going to be queen right. But I, I'm really guessing that as I'm vacuuming and with all these bees right on top of here, our queen is up in here. So we're gonna be vacuuming up some more of these bees right up here, narrowing them down, and we're looking for our queen. I vacuumed almost all those bees. There's still a cluster in here, so now I'm just gonna start cutting this cone, dropping it into the box. Any bees that are along the way, I'll get them as well. Well, folks, guess what? <laughs> that hive ain't there no more. We got a bunch of comb. We didn't find our queen. She's either going to be in that ice chest with all that comb or in one of those swarm cells. So we're finished up here, and John's going to bring us down safely, I hope. Gently. Yeah, you ready to go, Charlie? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go down. Gently. <laughs> gently, gently. Oh, bye, George. We made it down safely. Four more bees up there. You don't want to get them? <laughs> John, don't tempt him. <laughs> Hurry up before we get stung. All right. So here's the deal. This man right here is John Brown. Now, now John, he, he is a professional, not a machine, heavy machinery operator. He is a professional rodeo clown. That's right. A rodeo That's clown. Right. Made his living. He's world, he's famous all over Southeast Louisiana. That's Where right. else? All the way to the East Coast. The guy is like a celebrity, and we we Charlie and me trusted him enough to get on that grade all. No, you trusted yeah. him enough. Well, I was a little nervous. I, I was like desperate. I wanted to get this high. This high was something awesome. Yeah, you was after like a little kid in a candy yeah. store. He was. Yeah. He chased one bee on a limb for an hour. Oh man. So so John. John was the one who contacted me about this hive, uh, and we're up in Folsom. This is where we are, isn't no, it? No, Franklinton. Oh, Franklinton. And and John lives probably about, what, eight miles from here? No, about three miles. Three miles. Five, eight, three. Well, yeah, you know, whatever. It, you it know, could be 103. It's, you know? it's, it's right around the corner from here. Everything is far around here because it's just so open country. But Charlie and I, we got the bees, got the comb. Uh, we know we got uh, swarm cells and maybe a queen. So we're headed back up to the Abbey, and we're going to cut this comb and and take care of it and put it in the layings. Now, John, what's that? Anything you got to say about this? Yeah, this is, this this is the Smith Bull Field. <laughs> the, Smith yeah, the Smith Bull, bull field. field. Smith Bull Yeah, because I saw Smith that was Farms. a big old bull yep. when we come in this field. Smith Farms. Yep, and he wow. was looking at your little van like. <laughs> yeah. Might be a little action here. You. I think I think that van was a little bit smaller Ooh. than that bull. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That it was. bull was huge. But, uh, yeah, I, we. I want to thank Jeff for coming here. Well, I thank you, you brother. Bees. Yeah, well, they're up at the Abbey, and and you just come up there and visit us whenever okay. you want. That's right, right, man. All right. All right, Charlie, you ready to get back up there? 
No, I, I've had it. It's not time there. to eat yet, so we'll eat after it gets. You can eat it any time. I heard my stomach growling. <laughs> the, I swear. The, little, the little Juno store is right on the corner, and they had, they open from five or thirty and five thirty in the morning. They close at seven, so you got plenty of time. We do have plenty of time. Yeah. I'm but, with John, but we're out of here. Thank you, John. <laughs> yeah. Thank All you right. very much. Okay. All right. Now we're back at the Abbey, and we're getting ready to 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 do this operation. What, what we're going to be doing, and you saw when I cut those combs off that hive that I was cutting them in two sections. They were so heavy that the first two or three of them I cut that would fit inside of one of these frames right here. And then I started cutting them into smaller sections. And those I'll be able to put in these sections right here. And I was really, really concerned with those big sections because they could just break or it, it, would, it could have been a disaster. But it all worked out pretty good. So we got two sections, two different types of frames out I'm going to put them in. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the ice chest that we kept the bees on all that brood. We're going to open that thing up and I think that our queen is going to be in, in that box. And we're gonna we'll look look for our queen initially, but then I'm gonna start cutting comb. And if we don't find our queen, I'm going to go ahead and and drop at least one, if not two, cells inside of this box to make sure we have a queen. But I, I really think we're still gonna find her. And then after we get all of our comb um, all framed up, we're gonna take the everything bivac body, and it'll just be set right inside of our box right here and I'll remove the lid and we're just gonna let the bees get onto the comb but we're gonna have a lot of bees on the comb to begin with so let's go ahead and open up our ice chest and we're gonna see if we can find our queen right there. I'm gonna they're gonna be a lot of bees in this box and it's gonna be difficult to find that that queen regardless. So I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting up this comb and framing it up. But that is a lot of bees. Let's grab our first section. Boy, the, the heat in this ice chest, I, I, I should have a thermometer to show you. I mean, I, it's just radiating out, which is one of the reasons I love using an ice chest to put our, our brood in, because it does maintain the temperature somewhat. And now that we're keeping our bees on it, they are maintaining the temperature in this ice chest phenomenally. These are our first bees. This is the kind of board that I use. And I got the piece of comb to the board size, and it should fit right inside that frame. Now we can have one cell on this, and we can have one cell. I just have to close one cell. Oh, it is a lot. And I'm really hoping that now we merge. We'll get it back out. There you go. Easy smeezy, huh? And now I'm going to look. Make sure my queen's not on this stuff. All right, our next our next piece is a small frame one, so we got to get this frame right here. And when I put when I put the sections of comb in my ice chest, I always orient the top of the comb on the bottom. That way I know when I pull it out, this is the top of the comb and the orientation of that hive, of that piece of comb. So that has to go to the top of our bar. Okay. Now with our piece of comb, it should fit just inside space. 
So now we got the next piece for our small frame right here. That's some pretty brood on there. Yeah. We got one, two, two more swarm cells right here. The swamp cell I got to cut out. I see. Don't you want to leave one in there? No, not yet. Well. Yeah, I guess I'll leave one for leave, right leave now. Leave one. Yeah. And you know that's a good one. Yeah. I'll leave her in there. So we know we got. Boy, that, that's a nice long one. A beautiful slab. Yes, it is. I think it's a pretty jumpy. checkerboard these things between these full cones because they're going to make funny comb in here so we're going to put these two frames between full frames and that way They'll they won't fill in the, the yeah they won't draw a funny comb on it. but I think all of our other frames are going to be full frames Swarm cells on this one, Charlie. I see that. All right, so we're going to get this section into our.
Any good? <laughs> That's real good. That's real good. Woo. I taste honeysuckle in that. Mm -hmm. That's real good stuff right there. That's primo honey come right out of the cow pasture. That that deserves a second opinion. <laughs> Honeysuckle. Yep. That's good. That's really good. got eight framed up frames of, of, of comb which is really really nice um, and now I'm gonna kind of go through the box right here see if we can find our queen oh, she wasn't in that all I'm gonna do now is take handfuls of these bees and just dump them just like we did into the box and as they're running we'll see if we can find their queen. I didn't see her, so now we're just gonna bounce all these girls out of here, right into our box. Almost all of our bees now have moved over to the side. I got this space cleared out now. I can just drop our bee back in there, and we're gonna re release the rest of the bees. Yeah. No, 
Now what we're going to do, like I said before, mm -hmm. is we're going to remove this cover on the inside of our back right here and let our bees just come out. But if we don't cover this space, they are going to fill up the entire space in here. So I, I cut a piece of material. Once I open up the gate and put it down, I'm just going to drop this thing on here, close it up, and we're going to let those bees walk out. That's solid bees in there. Let's close it up before they come out. So tell me what you thought about today. Today was just unbelievable. It, it was, Jeff said it best, it's a once in a lifetime event. To find a swarm, an exposed swarm like well, that it's up a and hive. up. It's not a swarm. Not a swarm. You're correct. Yeah. It was a hive. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing up in this big oak tree. It was just unbelievable. Yeah, it was really, really nice, and I, I've seen large ones, but just like that when they were really, really high up. But since we had that bucket, they oh were, yeah, you could right, get right there, right eye to eye place. with them. Yeah, and yeah. That was awesome. That really, yeah. that really was. That really was. All right. So that's about it, I guess. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless, Mr. Ed, and my and good buddy. Good time, Charles. That's right. We're out here until the next video. God bless everybody.